everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevDactic and the Ionic Academy. In this video, I will show you how to use media streaming with Ionic. So we want to load some uh, uh, video file and some audio file from a remote server and display it inside our Ionic app. So I've started a blank new Ionic app as always, and we go ahead and first of all, add the Cordova plugin for streaming media. Um, besides the Cordova plugin, we of course need to install our uh, Ionic native, let's see, Ionic native package for media streaming as well. And once this is done, or we can already start to import it to our app module. So import streaming media from, and this is finished. Um, add Ionic native streaming media and make sure to add it to your array of providers. So we are already done here and can go to our home page. So media streaming. Um, and we will just need a few buttons in this example um, to test out the functionality of the media streaming. So go ahead and create the buttons. Um, so first of all, we of course need a way to start our video. And then we need two more buttons. Um, the second one is to start audio. So uh, we can display both audio and video from a remote server. And for audio, we also got the option to stop this. Um, you can also add the button to stop the video, but in my case, the video was always um, displayed full screen. So a button here made really no sense. Um, I think these three buttons or functions is what's working for both iOS and Android. Um, there are some more specific um, cases for iOS but I wanted to keep this general because um, if we only have something that works for iOS um, it doesn't really help I think so we got start video start audio stop audio um, good so far um, now we need our private um, streaming media yes the import was already good okay like this and we also can import um, streaming video options and streaming audio options because we can pass some options to our um, calls here. So go ahead and create options of the type um, streaming video options like this. And now we see we can define for example a success callback. So this will course um, come up after it was uh, successfully played whatever do whatever you want here then we can define an error callback uh, same like before and we can also say the orientation types uh, not really any information here but you could pick something like portrait or landscape here so these are our streaming video options. You can also go to the class and see that we got uh, some more in it full screen as well. Oh, oh, this is audio. Where's video? Oh, there's video. Okay, for video actually, we can only define these three functions um, or these two functions and the orientation. Perhaps there's also some, uh, not really a good description here. Okay, but as you can see for audio, we can define some more, but we will get to this in a second. First of all, let's now start our video by calling streaming media dot. And as you can see, we got pause audio, play audio, play video, resume audio, stop audio. So a bit more options for audio than for video. And let me just grab um, the link. So it's a very classic. Um, the big bunny I think you should know this and also pass in your options and you're already good to go right here 
so for start audio as I said it's um, more or less the same um, but in this case we got streaming audio options and of course there's no orientation in this case um, but perhaps something like init full screen so the problem is here um, that this init full screen only seems to work for iOS so on iOS we can prevent that audio uh, is displayed in full screen but I think for iOS we cannot prevent it uh, for Android so for Android uh, even though we just have audio the same player like for a video will come up but we got the option to change the background color image and scale type of that image um, if you just want to display audio in the background of your app I think this plugin is not right for you um, but in our case uh, no we want to play audio and now I need some audio file uh, let's grab it you can find the links of course uh, on the quick win on the Academy page and again the call is more or less the same just the link to your file and then the options and finally stop audio is pretty much uh, just one line so streaming media stop audio so pause and resume audio is also I think only working on iOS so we cannot use it here um, okay Okay, so um, we can see this right here, but actually um, you see it's not working because we're using Cordova plugins. So we need to deploy this app now to our device or simulator and then we can inspect our functions a bit more. All right, so here's our app on my iPhone and if I now go ahead and click start video, um, we see that the video comes up and I don't know if you hear the sound but there's actually some sound here um, okay and for start audio I guess it's a bit more complicated because you're not hearing this sound at all um, let me just uh, decouple it uh, so you can't see it anymore but um, now you should actually hear that yes our crazy sound file whatever this is is uh, displayed all right so uh, I hope this video gave you an idea how you can easily implement um, streaming with Ionic from a remote file and if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and also check out the ionicacademy.com for more Ionic training, video, courses and a community that will help you to learn Ionic faster. So thanks for watching and see you next time. <laughs>